Today I'll show you how to use a booster pump to increase your water pressure while also increasing your RO membrane's effectiveness. Hi guys, I'm Randy and today in BRS TV How To, I'm showing you how to install a booster pump kit to give your water pressure an upgrade, which can also increase your RO membrane's TDS rejection rate and increase your daily water production. In order for proper operation of your RODI unit, we recommend having a minimum of 50 PSI water pressure, but not all homes or water sources can achieve that on their own. This is where adding a booster pump kit can help make sure you're getting the most from your water filter. In one of our first episodes of BRS TV Investigates, we found that boosting your water pressure can not only significantly increase your water production rate, but it can also have an impact on how well your RO membrane removes TDS. So let me show you how to get one installed on your unit. One of the first steps to installing a booster pump is determining whether you need one in the first place. To do that, you can hook up your RODI unit to your tap water, let it run for 5 to 10 minutes, and watch the pressure gauge. If you notice that your pressure is near or below 50 PSI, then a booster pump is a great choice to improve performance. Installing this kit is very simple since all you need is a pair of tube cutters or a razor blade for tools. The pump itself comes with a mounting bracket that you can mount to the wall or under the cabinet and mounting the booster pump can help with reducing vibration noises so I usually hang mine near the RODI unit to make sure the cords from the transformer and the pressure switch will reach. With the pump mounted, I can clip the red source water line that feeds my unit and install the tubing into the quarter inch push connect fittings. The flow of water through the pump is right to left as indicated by the arrow, so be sure you insert the tubing correctly. Now we can install the pressure switch which will sense built up pressure within the lines after your float valve and ball valve is closed and then electronically tell your booster pump to shut off. Installing it is as easy as clipping the blue product water line after the last DI stage and adding it in. Since there's no flow direction requirement to operate the switch, don't worry about which way it's installed. All that's left to do is to turn your water on and plug in the transformer to power the pump and the switch. Once the pump begins running, you should see a pretty significant increase in pressure on your pressure gauge. Although the minimum operation is 50 PSI, it is just fine and may be more beneficial to be over that rating. However, pressures over 90 PSI can start to push the limits of some seals and fittings on some RODI units, so keeping them below that point can help prevent leaks. Finally, if you find that your pressure is too high, you can make adjustments on the pump itself by turning the top adjustment screw clockwise and counterclockwise until you meet your desired pressure. One thing to note here is that making any adjustments to the pump will only reduce the pressure and not increase it. Well guys, that wraps up this installation. If you have more questions, please don't keep them to yourselves because that's what this team of reefers lives for. Give us a quick call or email, and if you need your answer in the next 60 seconds, hit us up with a chat. See you in the next episode of BRS TV.